Hi, welcome to another Fingernail Fixer video. I have had lots of requests on doing ombre with the shellac, and so I've got my handy dandy client Rosie, and we're ready to go. I have polished the nails with one coat of ice vapor and cured that for two minutes. Now I'm going to do ombre on one nail using a sponge technique. This is just a piece of makeup wedge that I, as you can see, constantly tear pieces off of. So I'm just going to tear two small pieces off the wedge. This piece came off pretty good size, so I'm just going to tear it in half. And then I'm going to take a medium and a dark color that I want to ombre over the top of my light color. So I'm going to grab my thumb palette. I'm going to start off with Serene Green as the dark color and put a dot of this on the thumb palette. It has already been shaken to make sure I've got a good mix of color. Then I want to have a medium color on my palette, so I'm going to use Frosted Glen. And you can use any combination of colors. I like to do ombre with three different colors. You just want to make sure you have a light, a medium, and a dark. Now that I have some of the medium and dark on my palette, I'm ready to pick up my sponge and apply it to the nail. Make sure when you pick up your sponge that you kind of smush it together and don't have a flat side. So as I picked that up, it kind of gave me a flat edge, so I'm going to pick it up from the other side. And now you can see I've got a really textured edge. Press it into the dark color but then come over to the side and tap the excess out so you don't have too much on the sponge. Then I'm going to go in and just tap the darker color across the back. Or if you wanted to go from tip, the darkest at the tip, you could of course start with the dark at the tip. And just going to kind of randomly bring it down in a few places so that it doesn't look like a stripe, it's more staggered. Then I'm going to set that sponge down and pick up a sponge to do the medium color, making sure that I've got a textured edge, dip it into the medium color and tap the excess off, then just tapping the sponge across the center of the nail to give me my medium color. That way you have a really nice ombre from a super dark green to a medium dark green to a, spark, a natural sparkle. This would be ideal if you have a client going on a trip for the holidays or so, something similar to that. You could have the lightest color at the back so that the outgrowth wasn't as noticeable. Once I'm finished, I'm going to use whichever sponge was the largest, and in this case the piece happened to be the dark, and I'm just going to go across where the two colors meet and tap the sponge to blend the line so it looks more like a true ombre and less like there's some striping. You would cure this in top coat and it would be done. I'm going to pull out the other nail that I have the ice vapor cured and show you how to ombre with a gel brush. So I'm just going to quick pull a brush out of my case. This is just the square gel brush from C&D. And let's go ahead and start the dark at the tip just to show you both techniques. In this case I'm actually going to start with the medium. So I'm just going to work some into the tip of my brush and then I'm actually going to scoop a little bit up and basically brush or rub it on to the center third of the nail. Making sure that I'm not leaving it too thick because I don't want to have any wrinkling. Once I have that applied, I'm just going to dry wipe my brush off and pick up the dark green. Turn my brush around backwards and polish the dark green up from the tip coming right to the edge of the medium green. I'm going to clean off any spots where it's really thick 
because I don't want to have wrinkling. Then I'm going to dry wipe the brush and come back in and literally just tap the nail with the brush. This is going to give you your ombre texture. And I'm just going to gently tap up into the medium color a little bit and dry wipe the brush. Then I'm going to come back up and tap the medium color into the light a little bit and then come back along the line where the medium meets the dark to be sure that it's really blended. And then you have your ombre from light to medium to dark. And again, this can be done with any combination of colors as long as you're going light to dark or dark to light. Hope this helps with ombre. Have fun.